back to SOS. I'm Stas RMBA. And today we're at this beautiful, fantastic, fabulous lake for you guys and gals. And we've got these, these are speed hooks. Dun, dun, dun. Every survivalist should have some of these in their kit because they are super lightweight and awesome because they do everything a yo yo does, but they're like this. And you'll see you've got instructions. On where to attach these it's a slip technique where they it has a hinge and it connects into the loop and as they tug it'll unlatch and cause them to cause a snap and that snap will uh, will set the hook in their mouth you can when you get them out of the package they look something like this and you'll run a line through here and these will swivel but you'll take this off of here like this and let that dangle and then you'll come in like this let me see I gotta get that loop there's a loop right here you can hardly see it it's a little loop right there I just want to show that part because I don't want to hook myself that loop goes there just like that and then when they pull that hook, see the hook? When they pull that hook, it'll snap. Let me hook it to something real quick so you can see. Let's pull this up. Now watch. What's that? You got there, babe. Is that a bluegill? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty bluegill. That's a pretty little bluegill. And that's, that's how it's done, folks. For those of you folks that are asking about this tiny little tiny little rod and reel it's all right i think but i keep having to do this number here every time i uh when i cast it wants to snag up a little bit that's the only problem with it and you might have to you might run into some problems with the uh, the crank but when this it collapses all the way down it's like a collapsible pin style i don't know if you guys can see me right now i'm covered in bugs and everything else but reeling it in is not a problem. Reels in okay. It's just casting it. You've got to hold this, hold this button to cast it. But for lightweight minimalist out there that wants to do some survival stuff and pack a pack a light kit, this is uh, the way to do it. I'll remember this anyway. This is. Uh, Water drop, water filters, five pack, emergency travel, recreation, and this blocks bacteria, viruses, and cysts. Easy to use, non clogging, nutrient high. Anyway, FTS H2O. Anyways, a lot of folks have seen these. I'm not even sure if I was holding that in front of the camera or not. I, my camera guy these days hey camera guy Cam, cam camera guy anyway so uh, I'm gonna throw these out there we're gonna tear these open while you guys are watching look this is like first person shooter or right. those like those video games <laughs> you're first person me hold this for me please sippy <laughs> I don't litter I don't want to be a litter bug so you open these up like this there's plenty of bugs out here. I don't want to be a litter bug. So, uh, you're seeing firsthand what I'm seeing. And there's some straws in here for you to punch into these things. Because they're like little high C pouches. And then I pull these little guys out, right? Like that. And like this. And I get a bunch of these little guys. Charlie, come here. Boy. Child. Here. Hold. Yes, sir. Hey, hold these. Thank you for the salute, buddy. All right. All right, I got these guys, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tie these off, and I'm gonna throw them out there. I'm sure I'm not gonna get eaten by a crocodile, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these out here. These should go right in here. Let me take a look. Sometimes you find little critters, so I'm just gonna throw these in there, and this is gonna be our spot. Here. 
and I'll come back and uh, fish these out. I got one little puddle over here. If you guys can see this, I got one little puddle right here. I'll just throw it. Well, that didn't land very good, did it? So now these will do their thing while I'm gone. I'll come fish these out. Lining up all crazy. All right, here, you guys want to try one of these? Yep, yeah. All right, I guess you're supposed to just... Drink. Here, let's just... Let's just stab it. Doesn't have a... Doesn't have a pointy no. end on the straw No, it doesn't. Either. Doesn't have a very good pointy end. Here. Let's try this. A knife. Yeah. Oh! What a very good thing. Oh. Here, hold up. Let's just get that in there. That's interesting. Alright, here, you gonna hand me another one? Now, is this the one that's supposed to have electrolytes and whatnot? Yeah. Here, hand me another one. Yeah, it's supposed to have... It works off osmosis and this osmosis technique. Here, Drew, let me see that. Lose an ocean. I'll buy it. Are you going to try? Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to try... You can taste the electrolytes. I'm so going to try... I'm Yummy. having to punch holes in them with the with the knife. <laughs> they don't really puncture very good, so I don't want to make a mess. Here you go. Let me try. Here. Mm. You hand me one. So what do you guys what do you guys think? It's good. It's good. It's you guys good. are the you guys are the kids. I didn't quite make it as well. It's all right. It's a little flat. Tastes different. Yeah, some didn't. Ah. Kinda... Mm -hmm. hmm. It's uh, <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. um, yeah. it's got a lemon lime. Yeah. It's a lemon lime kind of taste. It's a lemon lime kind. But this taste. this basically works in the place of a regular water filter. Yeah, yeah. So you can go into any funky puddle or anything, and it basically leaves everything else behind and and um, only gives you the liquid that's what that looks like fresh clear water pretty hardy pack anyways but that's that figured i'd share i'm just gonna cut a stick Like this, so you can get all technical and just cut a nice stick. Or you could just break this. It doesn't really matter. All right, here's the here's the spear if you want to go frog gigging. It's a good little frog gig to have a couple of bucks at Wally World. Put it in your kit. I like using the bolt. There's like a bolt and a nut that goes in there. Comes in the kit. I usually bring with me just a screw like this. I recommend a good multi-tool. I thought is that you know, it'll just barely get what you're working on started. But yeah, this is a field op for one of these, putting it together. And the point of this is that you're surrounded by lily pads. And you wait for nightfall and listen for the frogs. Okay, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm at a Taco Bell drive through And somebody was asking me, what one of these water tools were for well you find the right one and there it is and that's what that's for and this is in your taco bell drive through all right we got a boss is it boss mini first aid pocket first aid kit check it out
You can tear that thing open. Just, oh, can I? Should I use my just, teeth? No, yeah. Well, you could. You oh, want to. Oh, well. Just tear well, it open. There we go. You know, what was interesting, I was looking at Boss, and they even make a motorcycle kit. But this is just a small first aid kit, so I'm assuming it's like a boo kit. Yeah, you know, typical first aid kit. You got your little paper tape, uh, bandages, all shapes and sizes. These big ones are really good, especially for kids. Boo-boos come in all shapes and sizes, my friends. You never know what you're going to find in a kit like that. Exactly. What's that one? So we got uh, Poison Oak and IV Formula. Just to kind of wipe off that um, those chemicals that those plants will give on you. If, if you don't have something like this, it's always good to use dish soap and warm water. Because you want that skin to get dried out ASAP. So it'll help with the irritation. So, but like I said, yep, it assists in uh, the removal of the oil. So there you go. Cool beans. It's always good to have. Uh, just your antiseptic towelette just to clean around the areas of cuts. Three. Don't go scrubbing inside the cut. That wouldn't be very nice. And you got a cute little, uh, looks like ketchup or mustard container of sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. Nice. So, there you go. I would put that in the place most uh, most area where you get burned. And then you got a little splinter out sterile. Hey, those are actually pretty good. Little I, doohickey. I had a whole pack of them, and I think I put them in the first aid kit. Okay. That helps remove splinters. Yeah, with the lancet. So, mm -hmm. Or after you remove with the lancet. Yep. So there you go. Splinters can be very annoying. Oh, well, they gave you more sunscreen. More band-aids. Tons and tons of band-aids. Never can have too many of those. Should have thrown in, in a packet of honey. But hey, they got burn gel. Burn gel. Just as good. Nice. But, you know, I noticed they don't do packets of honey anymore, like at McDonald's or anywhere. They do honey mustard. Nobody sells honey. And then we got your just regular sterile alcohol prep pads. Uh, sting reliefs for insect bite. So... Hopefully, I wonder if that would work good on a yellow jacket bike. I'll have to try yeah, I know, it next on time. me. Try it on me next time. Yeah, when you're out mowing, some more burn gel. Burn gel. It's always good to have triple antibiotic ointment. You don't need too much of this. You just smear it on in a thin layer. So you don't need to go gobbling it on a wound. More band aids. And uh, your favorite moleskin. Your moleskin for your heels. For your heels. It's good for the hiker. Mm -hmm. And then your steri strips for those short, shallow lacerations that you get, just to kind of close it up to keep crap from getting back in if it. If you don't want to, if if you can't suture right away, that'd be something for you. Yeah, and then just your non-woven sponges and your non-adhering pads. So these are really good because, like I said, these uh, tend to not stick to the skin. So when you go to pull it, it doesn't rip tissue out, but if you find that these do start sticking to the skin, just put uh, clean, sterile water if you got it. This is another one of those extremely affordable kits. Would you would you recommend, you know, if, if somebody doesn't know all the detailed items to go, just go and grab out of a kit somewhere, would you recommend just grabbing a kit instead of, yeah. instead of trying to figure out every little item that goes in it? Yeah, to save you the headache, if you just want something then and there, yeah, this is a... Good little first aid kit. I like that they have the little poison um, oak and ivy formula. Yeah, if you're going on a camping trip or something, you know, for moderate stuff, you could just use this kit. And then, well, the heavier stuff you'd want to trauma kit with you, obviously. Something yeah. bigger. All right. Thumbs up. All right, Sippy, I brought you along for this. This is the Hiker Mini. And like I said before, Boss is making a bunch of mini kits, and this is one of those Hiker. And I'm going to. I'm going to be part of this one because some of the items are kind of survival related. Yeah, you know, more BA stuff. Uh, manly stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah manly stuff. Uh, all right, Sippy Styles just dumping it all out for all simple, of us to see. A simple compass, button compass that works. It is pointing to north. And a very decent whistle with a lanyard hole and a clip. This is a good thing to have. Good for a kid. This is always good to have. Chapstick. You can also use it as a candle. If you wanted to turn it into a candle, you could. 
Um, Mustard. Sunscreen. <laughs> Mustard. There's your ivy relief again. Yep. Poison ivy relief. Move this out of the yeah. way. Now these little whirl packs are great. These are this this is a portable water source, and it looks like what they have in here isn't that very convenient. They have aqua tabs for water purification, just shoved right in there, just like that. Pretty neat. And you have your mole skin, which you just talked about earlier. What is this one here? Uh, so insect repellent. Yeah, just repels lotion. Mosquitoes. So you have Sawyer That's insect important. repellent. This is great. And it's in a lotion. You just rub it on. And so we have some more of the triple antiseptic. And we have the sting relief, sting and bite relief again. Is that it? Plenty of band aids. Little... And the hiker's kit was was really cheap. And you know, well, I'm gonna say cheap, but I'm gonna say affordable. Affordable, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, usually when you buy stuff like this, they come in packs of three, and you've got to buy our packs of six. You got to get like six of these things, and you can't get just one or two. How many are in this thing? Just, just the one, right? Yeah. Nope. Well. Nope. There's more. Nope. We get a filter. I almost missed that. I'm sorry. We got two coffee filters. See, I was wondering. I was, there's got to be more of this. Two coffee filters to filter and strain, and then there's your aqua tabs, which you don't need both of these. You could just use one at a time. There's for one thing of uh, water and then there's your next thing yeah so cool. it's good to have just like a first aid kit and then of course with hiking you definitely should carry a <coughs> trauma kit with you too definitely definitely all right i figured you guys might like that cool little kit got the off-grid tools survival axe comes with this sheath <laughs> i'll be making something else for it you guys can look forward to that there's your sheath for it and it features over 31 different uses. This is your gas wrench. I noticed right away. This is your gas shutoff wrench. That's a spanner wrench, demolition tool, multi different functions of wrenches here. Pry bar. It's a pry bar. You can. Uh, you've also got uh, uh, wire cutters and and the whole nine here. It's, it goes on and on and on the list of tools that this thing has inside here well it's also a bottle opener if you want to open a bottle of course you have a, a hammerhead nail puller you've got a nail puller here as well <laughs> wire tie you can also use it as a wire tie right here if you push this in they fixed this back in the day they didn't have this it used to just fly open but now they've got it designed where it snaps and you can use this is a metal saw that's on here now you can use the saw locks or whatever and you've got your glass breaker, you've got your seat belt cutter, or whatever other color cutter you want to use it for, lanyard hole, and you can take this handle apart and switch this blade out to a more industrial wood saw or something like that, something for utilizing for wood. But I wanted to give it a try and see how much damage it cause. Those of you that are familiar with uh, hatchets and hatchet heads, the shapes of them, the reason for the curve, and the reason for the slight angle is so that they, they can recover themselves from wood easily when you're chopping into the side of a tree or whatnot. It goes with, it goes with the grains, but there's a reason for this certain particular shape. And this pry bar kind of kind of curves. If you look at this, it kind of curves in here, goes around. That won't get in the way of, of what you're doing. It's still a traditional uh, camp hatchet. So you, a lot of people get confused when they see this curve. They, they think that, well, you know, but just crap on wood. And you see this cut, it automatically wants to spring back out. Yeah, it, it has the shape of a camp axe, perfect camp axe. So it'll spring back to, to retrieve it. And that's what that's for. All right, let's try breaking something.
still remains. It still wants to un undo itself. But if you want a multifunction, <laughs> it's still going to do it. It's just not as easy as it was before, but there you go. Another tool made by Off Grid Tools is this survival companion. And one side you have your magnesium. So you have a magnesium rod. And this works well with your ferro rod, your ferrocenum rod. And this works well in conjunction with the two. You would scrape off a small portion of the magnesium and then strike it with your ferro rod and it causes uh, it's 6,000 degrees Celsius or something like that. It's somewhere along in those lines. Don't make me lie to you. But it'll help you get a funky fire going quick. You have a signaling mirror and your striker is right here on the back side. The only problem with this, I would be afraid that it would want to come off wearing it on your hip or something so I would put it in your bag. I wouldn't take any chances with clipping it on stuff. I know it is a clip and you should use it as such but I just don't like taking chances like that. <laughs> but just me when it comes to survival. Something small can cause so many problems. So you have a flathead, uh, works as a knife as well, multi-tool slots here, different wrenches. Uh, I, you have a nice, a nice saw section here, would work in conjunction with your ferro rod as well. This slot right here is more useful for the ferro rod. It has that nice groove to it. Uh, one side you have a, uh, uh, a temperature gauge, so you, you know uh, uh, the temperature it is outside and you also have a button compass button stock compass and a lanyard hole and back here in case you get tired of screaming and in, in agony for help and you start to uh, <laughs> dehydrate yourself from screaming so much they make a there's a nice convenient whistle back here for screaming <laughs> yeah. uh, don't forget we're informative funny all right informative funny all right, I got the kids with me for this one. All right, so Daddy has to throw the fish back. And we, I picked this up because I kept having to pull fish uh, hooks out of fish's mouths. And I know I caught fish, and I should have just did this while I was at the lake. But this is what I'm stuck with now. And just bear with me. And I hope you laugh, and I hope you find it funny. So <laughs> the kids, they want to free all the fishies. So... I don't keep any of them because they need to go back home to their moms and dads and things like that. Apparently, that's what the kids say. So, I entertain this with the kids. And I found a better tool instead of using pliers because they get deep down in their guts and you've got to get it out. And the best way of doing it is some, some sort of tool. Larger fish, you would use this end. And on the smaller fish, you'll use this end. But you've got this nice little groove here and it'll slide through it'll slide through to the you two stop fighting over there but it'll slide through all the way to the hook and you can give it a turn and then give it, you push it up against it just like that and you'll see in there you don't see a hook and I can push in and pull the hook out so now the hook is right there and out of the fish's mouth and Conveniently, my kids just so happen to have a fish with a magnetic mouth. A magnetic mouth? <laughs> anyway, all right, that is all.